In this video, we will discuss a 15-minute scalping trading strategy that is very effective and suitable for all traders. This includes those of you who are beginner traders. In this example, we will use the gold pair or XAU USD as an example. However, besides being suitable for the gold pair, this scalping strategy can also be used if you trade other assets such as Forex, crypto, stocks, and various other assets. Although we use a 15-minute time frame example, this trading strategy can also work well if you want to use it on a 5-minute or 1-minute time frame. Hello everyone, welcome to the Forex Strategy Explorer channel. Before we continue this discussion, don't forget to support us by liking and subscribing. To use this scalping strategy, simply go to Trading View. Then, set the pair to the Gold Pair or XAU USD. Next, set the time frame to 15 minutes. After that, you can go to the Indicator Search tab. In the Indicator Search tab, type in Williams Percent Range. Then just select the default Williams Percent Range Indicator from Trading View. Next, go to the Indicator Settings tab. In the Input tab, change the length to 144. Then go to the Style tab. In the Style tab, uncheck the middle level and indicator background. After that, change the upper band value to minus 5. Also, change the lower band value to minus 95. The last step is to change the colors of percent %R, the upper band, and the lower band according to your preference. However, to make it clearer, change the color of percent %R to yellow. Then also change the upper band and lower band colors to red. Once done, just click OK to confirm the changes. This Williams percent range indicator will be used to see if the price is too high or too low. If the signal line is above the upper band area or below the lower band, it means the price is starting to reach an overbought or oversold condition. Generally, the price will experience a correction or even a reversal of the current trend, if the price is in the lower band area, your main focus is to find the best point to place a buy order. Meanwhile, if the price is in the upper band area, your main focus is to find the best point to place a sell order. However, before placing a buy or sell order, make sure that the percent range signal line has fully entered and exited the lower band or upper band area. Now, let's add the second indicator which will guide us in placing orders and identifying market trends, Go to the Indicator Search tab and then type in Follow Line Indicator. Then, just select the Follow Line Indicator by Dreadblitz. For the Follow Line Indicator, leave the settings at default. If the Follow Line Indicator changes from red to blue, it is a buy signal. In this situation, your main focus is to place a buy order. Meanwhile, if the follow line indicator changes from blue to red, it is a sell signal. In this situation, your main focus is to place a sell order. Now, let's discuss how to place buy and sell orders using this scalping strategy. How to place a sell order. If the Williams percent range signal line has entered the upper band area, wait until the Williams percent range line exits back downwards. Then, wait for the follow line indicator to change from blue to red. As a confirmation, make sure that the candlestick formed is a bearish candlestick. If all conditions are met, you can place a sell order after the bearish candlestick closes. Place the stop loss at the latest swing high. Use a take profit target with a risk reward ratio of 1 to 1.5. How to place a buy order. If the Williams percent range signal line has entered the lower band area, wait until the Williams percent range line exits back upwards, then, wait for the follow line indicator to change from red to blue. As a confirmation, make sure that the candlestick formed is a bullish candlestick. 
if all conditions are met, you can place a buy order after the bullish candlestick closes. Place the stop loss at the latest swing low. Use a take profit target with a risk reward ratio of 1 to 1.5. How to place a sell order. If the Williams percent range signal line has entered the upper band area, wait until the Williams percent range line exits back downwards. Then, wait for the follow line indicator to change from blue to red. As a confirmation, make sure that the candlestick formed is a bearish candlestick. If all conditions are met, you can place a sell order after the bearish candlestick closes. Place the stop loss at the latest swing high. Use a take profit target with a risk reward ratio of 1 to 1.5. Always maintain your money management and trading psychology, as no trading strategy is perfect. That's all for this video, and see you in the next one.